WQED Pittsburgh. You're watching Horizons thanks to the support of WQED's members, the Richard King Mellon Foundation, the Heinz Endowments, the Pittsburgh Foundation, the Allegheny Regional Asset District, the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development, and Highmark. Thank you. Coming up next on Horizons. Specifically for people of color, it will allow clinicians to do something that they can't currently do right now, which is to accurately detect the wound at the most um, cost-effective state when it's the most easiest to heal, as opposed to catching it at a more advanced stage when you have an open wound. Groundbreaking work at Carnegie Mellon University is changing lives for the better. Find out why it's important, especially for people of color. Also coming up... Iconography is a form of prayer, and the icon can be a way to experience God's grace. Next on Horizons. Welcome to Horizons, I'm Chris Moore. We're starting things off tonight with a story about a medical breakthrough for people of color. Pressure ulcers, also known as bed sores, affect 2.3 million people across the United States every year. It's an oftentimes fatal problem. 60,000 of those people will die. But right here in Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon University graduate Sana Gaspard has created a technology and a company called Rubitection that could help many more of those people live. Now, I need to warn you, bed sores are not pleasant to look at, and there are some graphic medical images in the story we're about to show you right now. It not only extends life, it extends the quality of life as well. Because there's one thing to live longer, but have a wound, and another thing to live longer and be wound-free. Dr. Santa Gaspard is a 2011 graduate of Carnegie Mellon University. She has produced a prototype that can detect pressure wounds, commonly known as bed sores. Those wounds, I don't know if you've ever seen them. They're, they're very nasty. They're very painful. Dr. Gaspard produced a prototype and started her business that she calls Rubitection. She is now in the process of trying to capitalize that business and produce a smaller working version of the prototype. The way it works is that you put it on the site that's suspected for mm -hmm having a wound and so those sites are very specific and the device shines light onto your skin and measures the light that comes back. It's a, a huge advancement from what's currently done um, particularly because um, this is not just a problem in the U.S. it's an actually a global problem um, and as we all know the majority of the people in the world are people of color so specifically for people of color it will allow clinicians to do something that they can't currently do right now, which is to accurately detect the wound at the most um, cost-effective state when it's the most easiest to heal, as opposed to catching it at a more advanced stage, stage when you have an open wound. Her prototype for early detection of bed sores is still in the R&D phase. She is currently working with CMU's Olympus Center to capitalize her business. We're a little economic development engine. Our goal is to get the students working on their businesses while they're still in school so that upon graduation they can go directly working in their business because they either have funding or they have insufficient revenue. Olympus has helped a number of startups get off the ground, businesses that are currently employing hundreds of people in Pittsburgh. Catherine Kit Needham is Olympus's senior business advisor. We have free legal seminars that we partner with the University of Pittsburgh School of Law. Uh, it's like going to law school, so what business structure should we take? And we set up workshops to help them figure out what you know, LLC, S-Core, C-Core. Right now, I am working on developing a clinical prototype and fundraising money to support that. Have you gotten any funding so far? Yes. I've I have the best job in the world. I have the best job in the world, working with smart, highly motivated students who have these exciting ideas. It's a therapeutic tool for children with autism. It picks up the beat. 
and I'll start to dance to it. Great ideas are coming out of Olympus, whether they are for helping autistic children or early detection of pressure sores. Just to give you an idea of how pervasive this condition is, it's actually fairly common. If you're familiar with uh, Christopher Reeves, he played the role of Superman. He became paralyzed and he survived for nine years. He had a, his own dedicated at-home nursing staff. And what actually led to his death was a complication from a bed sore. It gives you an idea of how difficult it is to treat, to manage, and to prevent, right? and also to detect early. Because the goal of early detection is that you can prevent it from progressing to the advanced stages, right? where you can actually, the patient can actually get sepsis and possibly die or get a chronic wound that requires you know, amputation. Darker skinned people, independent of race, get the most advanced cases of the condition. And I thought, this is something that could be easily addressed with technology. Currently, bed sores are detected by visual inspection, which may miss developing sores in their early stages. The test is also subject to individual interpretation. The test is so subjective that I could do the test on a patient, and you can do the test, and we will still come up with two different answers, even if they're very fair. And this is what leads to discrepancy. And you really don't know who's right until the patient develops the wound. Additionally, there's been very little financial incentive for early detection. But after 2008, since Medicare changed their reimbursement policy, specifically for pressure ulcers, um, so this means this change in policy means meant for these healthcare facilities that they would no longer get reimbursed or paid for wounds that develop in their care because it's a sign of negligent care. Right now, Dr. Gaspard is trying to raise funds to get root protection up and running. With the help of CMU's Olympus Project, she may eventually save many lives and employ many people right here in Pittsburgh. One of the great things is that so many of our students do not come from Pittsburgh, but they form teams. And so one's from New Jersey, one's from California, one's from Texas. I mean, I could go through this whole litany. The only thing they have in common is they all went to CMU. You come visit us or you come look at our website online, you'll see that these young people are, I think, it is the lifeblood of America. 60% of the net new jobs comes from startups and small businesses. And that's what's going to keep America going. Like many of the businesses that CMU's Olympus Center helps, Rubitection is a startup. Dr. Gaspard is raising funds for a company that could eventually grow, save lives, and employ hundreds of people in Pittsburgh. For more information, log on to our website, wqed.org slash horizons.